Hello guys, this is Stunner2150 here. I'm going to make a tutorial on how to keep your computer running fast, smooth, BIOS free, and adware free, and how to maintain that state. Okay, so I'm basically going to talk about two programs that I think everybody should know. One is called Disk Defragmenter, and the other is Disk Cleanup. I'm going to start off with Disk Cleanup. What Disk Cleanup basically does, it's kind of like a, a fan. You install a fan, and it's brand new and after using it and using it, it builds up dust stuff that you don't need so basically what this cleanup does is it wipes off all that dust all that access stuff that your computer just does not need that slows it down, takes up hard drive space so with that said, I'm going to show you guys how to get to that program and how to use it okay so you go to your start menu, obviously I'm using Windows 7 I'm sorry XP users, um, my XP for some reason isn't working, but it's basically the same principle. So you go to your start menu, you scroll all the way down, all programs, you go to accessories, look for system tools, and disk cleanup should be in that file. Click it. It's going to bring up something similar to this if you're not running Windows 7. Local Disk C. Click OK. It'll compile all the information, gather all the stuff, figure out what you need and what you don't need. Depending on how badly you need it, it will go a little bit slower. Just wait for this to load. <laughs> let's not read that <laughs> okay so this is basically what we have we have a bunch of check boxes on stuff that we don't need so what I would just recommend is check all the boxes and as you're checking them on this side right here you'll see the memory usage go up what you're gonna do is press OK delete files and it should start deleting them. And once it's done, it's going to disappear like it just did. Now, all the stuff that's on your computer that you don't need is now gone. That'll speed things up a little bit. It'll relieve some space on your hard drive. Another program that I would like to talk about is Disk Defragmenter. What Disk Defragmenter does is it's basically like a dictionary, but when you save programs it doesn't save them in alphabetical order per se what it does is it scrambles it if you're not using a solid state hard drive okay and what this defragmenter does is it takes all those things and it puts it in alphabetical order this way when your computer tr tries to load I don't know Windows Media Player or AIM or Internet Explorer instead of having to look through the whole hard drive trying to find it everything's organized so it's much faster to find it so let's show you guys how to find that program and use it. I'm going to start again. All programs. Accessories. System tools. And Disk Defragmenter will be right in there. Click it. Something similar to this box will appear. You're just going to analyze disk. It's going to run now on Windows 7 for some reason this takes up a lot of time so I'm just gonna pause this video and I'll continue when it's done okay so this is pretty much hard to explain because I'm on Windows 7 and Windows XP is so much different but when you open this defragmenter it's gonna look a lot different than this you're gonna have gray bars here about right there and you're gonna have two things like this it's gonna say analyze disk analyze disk once it's done you're gonna see two bars hold on I'm sorry um, you're gonna see two bars okay it's gonna show blue red and green now once it's done analyzing it'll tell you whether you should or shouldn't if it says you should then defragment it just press defragment disk 
if it doesn't, but you see a little, not a little, but a decent amount of red, then I would recommend defragging anyways. So what that'll do is you'll probably see a 10% increase in speed, if not more. But if you do this on a regular basis, you probably won't see that much. But I recommend using these two programs about a minimum of twice every month, depending on how frequently you add and remove files and stuff, okay? So let's close this. I'd also like to point out another way to keep viruses out of your computer would be update your antivirus about every day, if not every three days. Um, don't watch, go to porn sites. I know that's kind of hard for you guys. Um, <laughs> we have a problem doing that. Um, don't download Juarez files or um, torrents. Yes, most of them are clean, but there is still a big chance that you can get a really nasty virus and it'll just eat up all your information. Um, another way would be get a decent antivirus program. If, it's, if there's a program out there that you see, it's $100, it's well worth it because you don't want to lose your information. You don't want anybody to be able to see what's on your computer while you're on the internet without you even knowing. Um, another thing would be, let me show you guys, for adware. Adware would be, see these things? these things right here don't click those things even if it says free iPod free whatever don't click it they're not gonna give it to you you're gonna have to register a bunch of stuff and while you're doing all that it's installing malware or adware or spyware on your computer and you just don't need it see spoopoo swoopoo I don't know what that is don't click things like that especially if you're like on MySpace J just don't it's not worth it that'll keep malware and adware off of your computer and it won't bog it down so I think that's about it for today um, thank you for watching and have a good day and I hope I've helped